hi guys i am so excited to share i was not expecting to film a video like this yet because my car technically had a couple more months on its lease let me get into the backstory if you're gonna go to the car tour then you can just skip ahead but my lease is technically up in october of this year and the reason why i ended up getting out of the lease early was because for one i had a jeep cherokee and i really don't keep up with like car news and jeep news specifically so i had no idea that Jeep, the brand, was discontinuing Jeep Cherokees after like this year or I think they might even be done. Like whatever cars are out, they're done. So I didn't know that. My car salesman actually told me. He reached out, I want to say like a week or not, maybe less than a week ago and just asked like what my plans were, if I wanted to keep my car, am I thinking I'm doing something new or whatever. And I had said, basically, I want to like get the, my exact car just like the new version of it like the 2022 or 2023 version i want the same exact look i love the white with the black rims and i don't know i just it looks very sleek chic whatever i love the look of it and then that's when he let me know that they aren't going to be making those anymore and if i wanted to i'm sure that they probably still have one out there that is like the newer version, but the reason why I didn't go with that is because the leasing payments are a lot more money. He was saying they were gonna be like six or $700. So I was like, oh, hell no, like I'll figure something else out. I mean, you could probably get a Grand Cherokee and have a lower payment than that um, or like any other car at that point. And he recommended to me the Jeep Compass, which I don't know if I had mentioned when I was looking for a car back like almost three years ago, I wanted a white and black Jeep Compass and every car dealership I was going to didn't have it. So that's why I ended up going with my Maui. I had seen him at my final car dealership that I went to. I'm sure if I would have went out of state, I probably could have found the one I was looking for, the Compass. But I was like, you know what? I think the Cherokee seems to be a better lease. And I'm so happy I did. I loved the, my car for like the two years that I had it. I didn't want to give him up. But the main reason I did want to get out of the lease early, and when I say get out early, it's like, it's May now, my lease is up in October, so what is that, like five months? So it's not as long as you might be thinking. And because inventory, ever since COVID, I feel like the inventory at car dealerships has just been terrible. I don't know if it happened before COVID, during, I want to say it was like when during, but I don't know. And again, because I want a specific style of a car, I worried that if I like try to think, oh no, I'll wait my lease out. And then once it comes to October and I don't want to get a car that I don't want just because my lease is up. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm better off getting out early than thinking I'm going to be smart and waiting and then I don't even get the car I end up wanting. So I was like kind of nervous about that. I mean, if I could find Jeep compasses everywhere in the style that I wanted, then I wouldn't care. Like if they have endless supply, but I didn't want to have to be visiting and like going through multiple different dealerships to find the one that I'm looking for. So that's ultimately why is because of inventory. I basically told my salesman that that I would be interested in the compass and then he said that he has one that he thinks I would like because it looks exactly like my car now so he sent me a picture of what they had coming in he said it's loaded on the truck and it's going to be here sometime this month so I'm like all right let me know keep me updated because like I will definitely come check it out and so this morning he texted me and said that the car was there he sent me a picture of it and I'm like oh my god the car looks beautiful and I didn't want to like rush down there but I was like, you know what? I was laying in bed and I'm like, I'm, I don't really have much to do today. Like, I might as well just go look at this car. I feel like if I wait and hesitate, then I'm going to end up losing it. So I got ready. I went down there. I'm so happy that I got this car. So I was so excited. I got to bring it home today. The only thing I wasn't expecting to go there and get the car today, I was kind of, I mean, I'm, I wanted to get it regardless. I just thought like tomorrow, I figured I would have one more day with my car and I needed to like clean it out. It wasn't dirty. I just had lots of like reusable bags with stuff in it. And like, I would have emptied out all the console and everything and glove compartment beforehand. You know, oh, we're taking your car today basically, which I'm sure if it was that big of a deal, if, in case you guys are worried about that, um, like you can just tell them like, yeah, I want to take the car home tomorrow, not today. So I guess we will get into the car tour and I hope you enjoy. So here he is, he already got some stuff on his grill, okay? But this is the front of him. And I like the grill that's different than the Cherokee, I think. Yeah, it didn't have this middle part. It had the top and the bottom, but not the middle. The black rims, I always love. Him from the side. 
so cute. So here's the inside. It's a lot more like sleek looking. I wanted to share it before because I have car covers that I took out of my old car that I'm going to put in this one as well. Then I also have those little drop stop things that go around the buckle so you don't drop anything down the seat that I'm going to put. But this is what it looks like before. I asked my car salesman because my last Jeep came with the mats. All you have are these ones. So I asked him like, go find me some mats somewhere or like, let me take my old ones. But he said that they won't fit or... He doesn't think that they have them for compass, which I find hard to believe. So I'm definitely going to get mats for it because during the winter, it gets so dirty and disgusting. I don't even like sitting in this yet with my shoes on. Okay, so here is the center console. It opens up and it's a little small in there, but I don't really... You know what? That will prevent me from being too cluttered, so that's good. I usually just keep napkins and like random stuff in there, like gum. Um, two little holders here these car coasters I got off Etsy and then the other one's like in my trunk so I just put it in there and this is the middle part of it which I think is so nice and I love the look of it it's so like fancy looking this little thing changes the setting of like where you're driving when the car is on like if you're doing you know some off-roading or whatever and then this is all of the features of like the AC and the radio and you have a USB down here and then you also have a pretty big space down here. I just put my keys in there for now. I always put change and whatever other junk. And I like that there's more space in here than my Cherokee because the Cherokee was like this little tiny thing. I hated it. It was so hard to dig anything out. And I am obsessed with the screen. Look at the size of this iPad <laughs> of a screen you have. I'm gonna turn my car on so then you can see what all the settings, it's really cool. These are the mirrors. This is a little bath and body thing that I got. And that's kind of tiny, but if you guys know me, I have a mirror that I put on my own. <laughs> I got off Amazon. And we're gonna check out the sunroof and everything. I didn't know how to close it, but I learned. So you already know it's a press to start. I'm gonna have to turn my Bluetooth off because then I'm gonna be talking through like the radio. Okay, so this is more like digital looking. I hate to compare everything to my Cherokee. So this is just what it looks like and it's different than what I had. And then something really different is this little car over here is in between two lanes. So when you're driving, as long as you're in the middle of the lane, then both of the lines will be green like once you're driving. I have the AC on now because it's really hot. This is volume and then this is how you go to like different radio stations. And so I just have it on regular like FM, but you also get the Sirius, I think like probably free for a year, but this is the home. Clearly I call my mom a lot, but you can actually edit these pages. It's kind of like editing on your iPhone, like you can add widgets and stuff. Here are some of the widgets that are set up just for like the air and the heat for the steering wheel and the seats and then media, all the different types of radio that you want to listen to, or you can do the CarPlay, which is what I had hooked up, but I didn't want to be talking through the Bluetooth. So there's all of these different settings for the air. There's navigation there that you can do it through, which I usually just go with my phone. So there's my phone on Spotify. And then these are all different settings. So I was kind of playing around with the active lane thing because when you're not in between the green lines, like it, when it notices that your car might be drifting off or you're just not, you're just going over a line a little bit, it starts like, it literally helps you steer. Like if you feel your steering wheel, like it's actually pulling you back, it's driving on its own almost. So although it's nice, it like, I'm not a bad driver, but sometimes, you know, people might be coming in your lane, so you might go over a little bit. So I went with lane management. I did vibration only. And then I did low for the steering assist strength. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Not that it's bad. I mean, I think it's helpful for safe driving, but I think I'm gonna put lights and chime on just for blind spots. Cause sometimes I don't be seeing people. And I think that's everything for safety and driving. Clock and date, I think that's fine. Um, the phone I have, voice, I guess maybe you can change. The people, you can make it female or male, leave it with female navigation the camera this was something else that's kind of cool it starts raining it will feel that and then automatically just kind of adjust to the rain all the headlights and everything brakes doors and locks i probably even going to turn off sound horn i don't like that yeah i'm going to turn off that the sound horn is remote start so when you remote start it it will honk i had that on the cherokee and i didn't like it so i turned it off because basically you'd be like 
honking your horn at like whatever time you decide to do it. Everything else I think is fine. Seats and comfort, key off, I don't really know any of this stuff. Notifications. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to go through and then you have your apps. So you can favor apps that you have. So obviously the Apple CarPlay, you have Alexa. There's more to choose from. So I'll probably do USB one because I'm sure I'll have my phone plugged in all the time. On the steering wheel you have, you know, to pick up a call, plan a call, hang up. There's also cruise control options, which I've never had cruise control and I probably won't use it. I don't really, I think I would depend too much on my car and I just, I wanna be in control in a way. So over here, you got a little cubby and then I just have some water down there. Have your light settings over here. I always like to play with this one at night because it will dim your screen if it's too bright. And then just a vent, you have another vent. Up here you have your little interior lights there. And then these buttons here are for the sunroof. And I was like so confused because this button obviously opens it, okay. Oh, nice little sky. I'm not gonna open it all the way. And I'm like, I kept pressing it. And I'm like, how do you close it? To close it, you basically like pull it down. I was so confused. I was getting embarrassed. But yeah, that's how you do it. You just kind of like pull it down. So there's that. I don't know why my phone like records with that line going through. It's not like that, but okay, this is what the rear view. <laughs> camera looks like super nice quality i mean you can be taking some instagram pictures in that okay and now i'm just gonna show the back seat that's all my paperwork back there that i need to kind of get together here is the back seat um you know it has a little pull down thing for a cup holder it's always nice i really never have anyone in my back seat so usually i'm not too concerned about this you have the vents and then also usb and then one of those little other types of things that originally my dash camera can be plugged into that, but I think I'm just gonna do USB. And I kind of liked how it like flowed back here nicely, so I might leave it back here or I can put it up front. Pretty nice. And I'm not sure if this is a sticker on here. It says Jeep, I think it's so cute. Okay, so we have this side. Hi guys. Here is the trunk. So I have some stuff in here. That's why there's like a couple little fuzzies, but just ignore that. And then I didn't look under here yet. Push. Oh, actually, he showed me. This is a um, like a tire inflation thing, like a little service kit. So in case you get a flat tire, you can just like fill it up a little. I, yeah, I hope I never have to use that, cause girl, I don't even know how to use that. And then there's one little cubby on the side. I usually keep like a towel and umbrella in the cubby over here for some reason. I don't know. You have a light there and then a light over here and then another one of those ports and then i'm sure someone will enlighten me on what these things are but i couldn't tell you and the only thing is that this is not a like a button trunk you manually close it so you just grab the little handle and then you pull it down so that's the only thing the back the gas tank is on the passenger side, which it was the same on my Cherokee, and you just push it, and then that will just be pushed in with the gas pump. Push to close. And that is my car tour. I already put my seats in there, the covers. I'm gonna enjoy these rims while they're nice and don't have any type of um, dents or curb rash. But, but he's so cute.